Good afternoon. My name is Heaven Lee, and I am a soon-to-be graduate of Mechanical Engineering Technology and Engineering Design Technology. It is an honor and privilege to have been asked to speak with all of you this afternoon. My journey to get to where I am today has not been easy. I was born into this world not breathing and with cocaine in my system. My biological parents were addicts. I was adopted into a family where I dealt with emotional and verbal abuse. I was told I was stupid, worthless, would never amount to anything, and that I would become a drug addict like my biological mother. My adopted father, he was different. He was my motivator and the only reason why I tried in school. He encouraged and believed in me. So when he was diagnosed with Alzheimer's, I was devastated. He completely forgot who I was. That's when I stopped caring about school. I went from an honor student to a failing student. I began to really believe the lies I had been told. A few years later, I moved from New Jersey to South Carolina. Then I found myself pregnant. This is where I hit bottom. Everyone closest to me seemed to abandon me. I lost both of my jobs and I lost almost all of my hope. But worst of all, I was seven months pregnant and on the verge of becoming homeless. My nurse Ruthie furiously searched for shelter for me and that is how I came across A Place for Us Ministries. They took me in, treated me like family, and showed me what love truly was. But at this point in my mind, I knew I needed to put my son first. This was no longer about me and I needed to do what was best for him. One of the best things for him was for me to go back to school. When I enrolled at Piedmont Tech, I was a criminal justice major, but being a single mother, I felt as though it wasn't wise for me to be in this field. I wasn't sure what to do next. I did so well on my placement test that advisors suggested that I take engineering. So I took it as a sign from the Lord and said, okay, I'm going for it. Since the moment I started here at Piedmont Tech, Things have been phenomenal. The faculty and staff here are amazing, and I have four of the best instructors ever, Sandy, Christina, Evan, and Jason. I started off as a mechanical engineering major. I never thought I would be doing anything like this, and trust me, this stuff is not easy. But I enjoyed the challenge. Christina somehow convinced me to do both mechanical and engineering design, and she found a way for me to finish with both degrees in under two years. I must say, doing that was very difficult. It required me to take 15 to 18 credits per semester. There were times where I wanted to give up, but quite a few people encouraged me to push through, and I'm glad they did because without them, I would not be up here graduating right now. While attending Piedmont Tech, I have been inducted into two honor societies, Tai Alpha Pi and Phi Theta Kappa. I am a work study in the engineering department, a presidential ambassador, a substitute Sunday school teacher, and a youth leader at my church. I have received the Greenwood Rotary Scholarship two years in a row, and this year received the Distinguished Student Award for Engineering Design. I say this not to brag, but to instill hope in all of you. Growing up, I never would have seen myself where I am today. So, I would like to say to everyone here that your past does not define your future. Your current struggles do not determine your destination. Don't let this day be the end, but the beginning for many opportunities. You can't focus on your past. You have to keep moving forward. And some may be thinking, I want to start school. I ask you, why wait? I want to continue my education. I ask you, why wait? I want a better job. Again, I ask you, why wait? Why not do something about it right now? It may be hard, but please tell me when anything worthwhile has ever came easily. Getting to where we are as graduates has not been easy. So, congratulations. You have earned this. Always remember this moment, and I wish the best to each and every one of you. 
I would like to say thank you to my instructors, Evan, Christina, Sandy, and Jason. Thank you for all of your support, encouragement, time, and patience. I will always remember you. Thank you to A Place for Us Ministries for being there for me, for your love, and for helping me pursue my relationship with Jesus Christ. Thank you to Mama Kay and Papa Sam. You have been the biggest impact in my life. Thank you for adopting me into your family and opening up your home to me and Nikolai. If it was not for you, I would not be where I am today. Thank you to Nikolai. You are my pride and joy. You are my motivation. Everything I do, I do for you. You have changed my life for the better, and I love you to the moon and back. Most importantly, I would like to thank my Savior, Jesus Christ. Thank you for always being there for me. Thank you for never leaving me and never turning your back on me. Thank you for the many chances you have given me. I want to give you all the praise and honor because without, if it was not for you and those who you have placed in my life, I would have never made it. Thank you to those who have allowed me to share and those who are listening.